Hey guys, this is Captain Pound P of the Super Paladin Bros, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario World 2. Um, Super Mario World 2? No, Super Mario World Return to Dinosaur Land. Might, might as well be Super Mario World 2, but no, Yoshi Island got that for the Super Nintendo. So let's go ahead and start Urchin Ocean in 1. We completed Chocolate. Chaco Peninsula in the last episode. And boy, was number six hard. I tell you, let's go on to number Urchin Ocean 1. Alright, some more swimming antics. Yay. I'm very delighted not to, to hit that in the future. Let's just say that. Isn't it delightful? Yeah, whatever. But, yes, we continue on in this series. We had a little bit of a problem that day with... Certain aspects of the game in the last episode. I think it was Chocolate Island 6. That kind of gave us a run for our money a little bit. But, no. We got through it. It took a while, but we did it. Finally. Oh, gosh. Not this again. All right, so we gotta make it through the zone here. And we got 700 seconds to do it, more or less. Which is fine. I can do it. No sweat! But we're definitely gonna need fire flowers for this particular stage. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's Friday night, or Saturday morning, technically, so to speak. I was gonna go out, but I decided not to, because I've already been out this week, and... Sort of spent my time with already co-worker Michelle, like I probably talked about in the last episode, but... And doggone it. I should have known. No. Gosh, get out of here. Just get out of here. <laughs> Just get out of there. Ah, right, whatever. Well, we're out of there now. Alright, so we're now at the checkpoint. Just gotta avoid all these flounders here. And it definitely will be taking a little less breaks. Because the last episode when I recorded the whole thing, it took 40 minutes. Just record last last night's or the last episode. The Chaco Peninsula areas. So yeah. It was not an easy feat last night. Even if I had already beaten it one time. It was still difficult. I mean, definitely worth playing over and over again until you get really the hang of it, but... Given I'm already, you know, only down, you know, actually, I actually picked up some lives in the, since the last episode. I had to, you know, I made up for it a little bit. You definitely want to keep, a, I would say, a high life count a little bit. That will be my recommendation. Now, there's a P-switch here. We're going to avoid... We're actually going to use the... Repeat the stage when we come back. Because this area has a... A checkpoint. Or, you know, uh, of course, two stages in it. But we're going to... Come back to that right after we're done with this particular episode. So, we're just going to hit the P-switch. And let you sh see what's here. This is R-A-G-B. Whoever developed this, you know development this part of this game and I understand it also is a cartridge but of course I'm playing this on emulator but yeah you can actually get it on cartridge I think it was licensed well, limited license to it so and I get hit again this is not good because guess who is back Rip Van Fish my god I'm in a hotbed of terrorism here. And a lot of trouble, I see. Don't think so. You can just F the freaking off. Because I don't need you. You know, famous last words. <laughs> I don't need you, and I ended up needing somebody. That's pretty much how it went. Alright, so that's the key. We really... I'm going to ignore that for now. Because my goal in this particular section, we're going to get through the stage. That's my goal. 30. Alright. 
All right. Pretty darn good, I would say. All right, so we got a star here. Yeah, burn it. Thought I would do it. Didn't do it. We got two lives, though. Well, we maxed that again, so we're pretty good. <sighs> okay. So. So we got the way forward. But. I'm not interested in the way forward. Let's go back, because we gotta finish what we came here to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and start again here. And when you start and select, if things get a little too hot. I mean, really. But then again, we mess up getting the checkpoint, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? But that shouldn't be a problem, because we're gonna... We're gonna actually... Get the secret path this this time around. Which isn't too far, too difficult to locate, but... It, you definitely want to kind of... You know, keep powered up the best you can. Alright, so... Oh, 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 back up. This is a, one of those long stages. Like, you gotta get moving, but you just... It's so slow. And like... You know, like that, you know. And that's what you call slow. Alright, so there should be a fire flower in here. We will definitely take that. Fire flowers will be your best friend in this particular episode. Definitely your... And now the real challenge again. Alright, get back down, get back down, get back down. Of course you didn't get back down like I wanted you to. Typical. Typical. But whatever, we got another fire flower coming. But we need to keep it this time. We actually do need to keep it. Need to keep it safe. We gotta keep our power up. Because if we lose it, we can be in very serious trouble, I think. Because of account of that rip van. Fish will mess you up. I tell you, yeah, fish will. And that is no lie. Right, get that. Get this. Get some of these coins, because we need to make the foes disappear. We'll come back for that P in just a minute. Because we need to leave that B. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, oh, let's just kind of clear the path. Clear the path. Like Markiplier would say, clear the path. I haven't seen much of Markiplier lately, though, too. You know, he's actually one of my favorite, but lately it's been other other Let's Players have been kind of becoming replacing him. It's like, I don't know about anymore. Excuse me, I just took my drink of water. Needed something to drink. That's what I get for talking too much, you know? Because in stuff like this, you gotta talk. You gotta keep talking. The Hillshire. The Hillshire Farms. You know, I mean, really. That's how it is. Alright, so... Let's see. Everything clear here? Because we don't want any stragglers. I think we've cleared out this area. So let's kind of move ahead. Alright. Get rid of these guys. Because the less they are... The less we have to deal with them. And don't worry about those in the... In the Wedge between those um, exclamation box. Whoa, excuse me, sir. Don't think so, man. I don't think so. Alright, let's get you. Clear the path. That will definitely help you out through this. There we go. We'll definitely will have to come back for that P, though. There we go. 
Alright, and get you out of the way. Alright, now let's go back for the P. P switch. Because we need to take it with us. To where we're gonna get going. I'll leave that flounder there. He's kind of difficult to reach anyway. Now that we've cleared the path, let's go ahead and take this with us. There we go. Now... Just kind of move along with us. Alright. Now we can just... See what this is all about. I'm gonna mushroom here. Alright, so let's hold this here. Alright, so that there's the key right there, but we need to go up. Let's take the P up to the left here, because you can actually go to the left rather quickly. You know, one up here. Get some coins. Go higher. And you can actually take this all the way back to the beginning, which really there's no serves no purpose, but I mean if you want there's also if you go through this again, so there's a three up moon. And we can this is what we get for swimming really fast, you know, with a piece of edge. Oh, there it is. Three up moon. I think that's it. I think there's nothing else over here. Yeah, this is the beginning. Yeah, we're already way back at the beginning, so now we can just swim on, zoom on back through here. We do kind of need to pick up the speed just a little bit. Just make sure you keep holding your Y button or whatever you're using as Y on your controller right, for your emulator or whatever. Because you need to keep this with you at all times. Alright, yeah, we're definitely going to be cutting it close. Alright, so... We're over here. There's the Yoshi coin, but... I think we kind of ran out of time just to collect them all, so... Not a priority. Now, come down here and be careful, because you got two... Rip Van Fishes patrolling this zone. All right, so keep that P there. Now we gotta go back quickly because we're running out of time. Yeah, I know we're running out of time. I realize that. All right, down here. Go down. Now we need to go over to the left. Hurry up, urchins, because you're not making things easy right now. Oh, there's the last one right there. All right, cool. There's the key. Now the P switch should remain there. There's that. So now we gotta hurry, because we're down to 50 seconds. Full rise! All right. Yeah, we really need to book it now. All right, dive. Dive. Gotta hurry. Let's move. There we go. And there we go. Oh, time was a little about 24 seconds to spare. Jeez. Alright, so here it is. The Green Switch Palace. Let's go ahead and get it done. Alright, so there's a P switch there. So let's go ahead and get this. The f your objective is to swim as high as you can. Get as high as you can. Get to the three up moon. <laughs> Do you want to get to the three up moon? That's virtually the only bonus is is the three up moon. But other than that, that's the green switch palace. Oh yes, it's a crushing one too. Whatever. Let's just kind of get out of here and wait for you guys to go back and forth and all that. Alright, so let's, this is a flooded green switch, so yes, there will be feathers inside each of the um, green switch palaces. I did not get this until actually the once I completed this area. I did not find this until I started the next zone, but here we go.
All right. The green switch has been completed. Now we go on to Urchin Ocean Numero Dos. So let's go. We're already 15 minutes into this episode, for goodness sake. Dear Lord. Can't believe we've already made it this far in our... Alright, your fire flower is going to be your best friend for this. Alright, so it's one of those where you gotta pop the bubbles in order to stay alive, apparently. Alright, all good? Alright, so... Just kind of avoid the cheap cheeps, I guess! Okay, I hate the jumping ones, that's for sure. It's like others. There's another one of the stage that acts like just like this too. So, from the original Super Mario World, anyway. All right. So what's up here that's so not important? So not important. That, that, that sounds like an anticlimactic statement or something like that. All right. So let's jump up here. Yeah, you're gonna get fried and you turn into coins. Oh, cheap, cheap! Jeez. I'm gonna get rid of you. No, you're being collected so you never come back in this miserable existence. Dear God, hello. Let's go on right now. Let's go. Alright, checkpoint. I think this is a pipe down. Oh yes, we got more underwater antics. How, how not? You send it to my pool. One of these days, I'm gonna open another one of these series as Marvin the Martian, and I'm not gonna be a. I, I don't know if I, cause you know, I, I'm a, now part of the Evil Heel Gaming. I don't know how he would think of me being Marvin the Martian. I don't know. I, I, well, Marvin and Martian is inherently evil, but you know, whatever. But <laughs> four, yeah, mushroom. All right. So we got this guy here. Get that. Or get on it or something. There we go. Cheap, 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 cheap. So this pipe, is it anything important? Of course, it just goes up and down. There we go. Just as long as it's everything is out of my sight, where, you know, you don't have to worry about anything else. Just go away. Star. Definitely going star. Oh my god, it's the killer cheap cheeps again! Yeah, didn't get my points that I want, but whatever. We're almost done with the stage. Thank goodness. 40! Not bad at all. Not bad at all, Earth creatures. I mean, really. Alright, so here we go. We're going to another red spot. So how are we doing for time? 19 minutes. I think we could do one more stage. Oh, goody! It is another one of these 800 second miracles or whatever. Jeez. I don't know. It's just. Some I don't remember this stage now because I think about it. I only did this one time, but of course there was a secret to this. Just gotta kill all the Rip Van Fishes, because these guys, when they wake up, they'll they'll murderize you, for sure. You do want to collect a coin, too. Because that will prevent them from respawning. This game is actually pretty not good. I think you, overall, I would say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for original gameplay. 
Bring in another aspect view of Super Mario World, that's for sure. That Mr. Coin back here? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. There we go. I mean, this deserves credit where it's due. And we got more urchins! Nice! Can we go up above? Because I'm gonna. Well, oh, I guess not. I thought I'd try anyway. Doesn't hurt to try. You never know. Alright, so we go down. Just gotta get through all this maze here. Maze. We're not talking corn. We're called ma We're talking about uh, a puzzle or something like that. Go through all this crap. Alright, let's move across here. Although I probably mentioned this in I don't know, a few episodes ago, I've actually been kind of been flirting with other women lately. I don't know. I don't know, it's just with me and Carla, no, it didn't really happen. I've been kind of just work, flirting with other women. That's what I've been doing. No offense to you, anyone, but I just feel that... I feel like I, you know... I should be deserve... I should... I deserve to be treated be better. By women, you know. It's just not right. And like I said, probably the last episode, a team player. That's how my um, girlfriend ought to be. Because really, that's who I like. Or team players. Someone like Michelle. Someone who can scream at you, yell at you, you know, be say nasty things, and then when it's all over, it'll be you know just fine. You know, don't take it personally. It's just some people take their beliefs too personally. I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to, you know, trying something new, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like I should, you know, should be doing something new every time. Being part of a team, not just being someone who just gives things and Expect nothing in return. Well, I just kind of want to be treated fairly. I mean, no one should ever, you know, have to be treated badly or whatever. All right, so that should be the end of that. Now we gotta get this Yoshi coin over here. Just gotta wait for it. Thank you. Got it. Now we go ahead and get to the pipe here. We're already at 23 minutes. Jeez. Alright, so we got a cape. I think we were supposed to go forward, then back. So let's kind of go forward first. I think the key is up ahead, then we have to come back with it. <coughs> I need some more water, man. My throat's getting dry, man. But then again, we have to repeat this stage again just to complete it. And, like, that's gonna be another whole couple minutes going through this, but. It is what it is, guys, because I'm gonna keep I'm gonna record it just like I did with that. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so we need to take this with us down. Alright, so here we go. We hit this. The key is going to come running down, so now we got to take it all the way back. Ah, darn it. That's why I don't like, you know, swimming with items sometimes, but it's kind of difficult to control, but it's doable, I suppose. Oh, this respawn. Cool. But we're going to take this back. We're going to finish the stage because this takes us 
to a secret island. It's the secret island, Yoshi's secret island. What this does, there's our colored Yoshis. Right there is the yellow. And of course, you notice know there's, there's no time, because you exit into stage anytime you like. So you got a choice. You got a yellow one there. You go up here. You go up here, you got a blue one. Baby blue one. So you got some options there. You can finish this stage however you want. There's no time limit, but of course, you can lose a life, so you gotta be careful with that. Let's get ourselves a blue Yoshi. Oh, jeez, I keep forgetting that. But yeah, we need to get our cape back. There we go. Alright, so now we, uh, but we're going to show you where the red one is at. And the red one's down here. And of course, there's still no time. But there's the red one right there. So you can use this to collect lives if you like, or you can use it to um, get power-ups. I mean, it's your call on that. But, you know, of course, this is a secret, top secret area, so you can do whatever you want to with these. But just realize you can screw up and die still. This is the only one that will probably kill you if you're not careful. But I think we're going to go ahead and go back to this stage, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna abandon Yoshi, give Yoshi, because really, you know, I'll be quite upfront with you. Yoshi is just not helpful for the rest of this game. I'm sorry. So here we go. Actually, I'm gonna go back and power up with some fire flowers because really, really, I think we're gonna need that more than anything. In my personal opinion, I think it's probably wise to have some fire flowers. Now, really what I'm going to be doing in this stage is I'm going to have to go through the whole thing again. So, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through the majority of it and go where I and meet you back where I left off. So, I will see you guys at the end of this stage because all I have to do is complete it. So, I'll see you guys in a moment or so. I think I'll rejoin you here because this is where we left off before. So let's go ahead and bring it back, I suppose. And keep my firepower in reserve. This time I make an exception. I usually keep a cape in reserve, but this time I think it's for swimming stages like this. I would recommend keeping your fire flower in reserve, especially for this particular area. Anyway, I mean, why not? I mean, really. So let's get on through here because we're almost done. And one up. Yeah, we, we were virtually done last time. I just didn't show you the whole thing because it was just the same. But besides, we're already kind of running out of time anyway. So big bonus there. But I do believe that is the end of this episode, guys. Well, we're all, yeah, we're almost done, but. I don't want to make you too long, so I've been Captain Penelope of the Super Paladin Bros. Leave a like, also subscribe. Check out the play that section at superpaladinbros.com, and I will see you guys as we resume Urchin Ocean, oh, Urchin Ocean Numero Quattro, Urchin Ocean Four. So I'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye.